Hello everybody, my name is Erin. Welcome to a 30-minute power flow. So this is the extension of the previous series I've done, the 30-minute arm balancing focus flow. So I have certain requests, so today I'll be working on grasshopper pose. So if you know what that pose is, this pose requires lots of hip opening as well as quite a deep twist. So if you are a little bit weaker on your twist and hips, maybe get a block or two ready by your side. Not to worry again if you do not have any of this posture in your practice or you might not want to try it during the flow later, just stay into a certain stretch or, or just working on hip opening, that's fine by me. Okay? When you're ready, we do not need anything else. I'll see you right back onto your mats. Let's start in a seated position. Okay? You're going to take your figure four legs. All right? So place your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Keep your left foot down to the floor. You just place your hands back for a little support, dropping just the hips side to side. So you're going to drop your right foot down towards the left and right. Okay, Just to warm up your hips here slightly, giving a little movement. At the same time, stretching out your right glutes. Okay, last five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's come back to the center. Now a little more stretch. See if you can come up to your fingertips. Walk your hands a little closer. Start to bring the chest a little more upright. Maybe also bringing your left foot a little closer. Chest towards your right shin. Maybe push yourself up. Sit up a little taller. Keep drawing your right knee away from your body. And then breathe. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. We're going to take a twist from here. So I'm just switch to face front. You just stay the same. Try to bring your right hand, twist to the left. As much as you can, bring your right hand outside of your right foot. Okay, so this will give you a little twist. So if maybe you're crunching in like this, just try your best to sit upright. Maybe just the elbow outside. For those who can go deeper, hook your right foot outside. Okay, stay your best, try your best. Hold for five, four, three, two, sit upright. And one. Nice. Release coming back to the center. And then from here, let's take a double pigeon pose. So just walk your left foot inwards. So you stack your right shin just right on top of the left shin. And walk your hands forward. Melt the chest down to the floor. Keep your both feet flex if you can. Knee and ankle stacking on top. Bow the forehead down. Last three breaths. Two. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Nice. Walk your hands back to you. Let's come to a different variation of tabletop. So palms down. Just start to bring your bum up. Left foot, place it backwards. Pivot back. Coming to a figure four tabletop position. And let's take an account here. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine for all your cat pose, tucking the tailbone in. Inhale, arch the spine, stick the tailbone back. Exhale, rounding your spine. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round the spine. One more inhale. And exhale to round. Push the chest up, tuck the tailbone in a little more. Three. Two, and one. Nice. Coming back to neutral spine. Tuck your left toes behind. If not, tuck them downward facing dog with a figure four. So send your hips up. Keep your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Keep pushing your chest back. Push the right knee away from you. Alright, from here, inhale. Lift the left heel up. Slowly start to bend the left knee. Keep pushing the chest back. Keep your hips up. Bum up. Okay, so you feel a more stretch here on your right outer glutes. Keep drawing the right knee away from your body. And then slowly straighten the left leg. Drop the left heel down. Two more times. Inhale. 
Lift the left heel, bend your left knee, chest to your shin. Push, push, push the floor away. And exhale, straighten back the left leg. One more inhale, lift the left heel, bend your left knee. Keep your right foot flexed. Push the chest to touch your shin. Bum up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten the leg, ground the left heel down. Good. Inhale now, lift the left heel up, roll forward to a figure four plank pose. Exhale, push back to a figure four downward dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank pose. Now you try, if you need to, you take a regular chaturanga. If not, bend your elbows, chaturanga with your figure four. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back to figure four, downward facing dog. Good. And here, release your right leg. Bend the knee, open up the hip, scorpion tail. Squeeze the hamstrings at the top. Exhale, step your right foot outside of your right palm. Sink the hips down, chest forward, lizard lunge. Lift the bum up, open up the hips, swing your leg up, back to scorpion tail. Exhale, again, right foot outside of your right palm. Sink the hips down for lizard pose. Inhale. And then step the left foot outside, coming to a wide-legged squat, Malasana. Elbows pushing the knees outward, sitting down. Open up the inner thigh, chest upright. Three, two, and one. Slowly, if you need, pump down, take a seat. Let's lower down to a low boat pose. Okay, so push the belly down to the floor. Lower back pressing down, legs hovering, if not, keep the legs up high. Let's open the legs slightly, as wide as you can, and back to the center. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, exhale, back pressing down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three more, inhale, open. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Hold it there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay your best. Stay with me. Just roll your hips to the left side. Good. Back to the center. Keep the chin to the chest. Roll over to the right side. Really engage the core here. Well done, roll back to the center, roll on to the left side, breathe. Roll back to the center and roll to the right. Roll back to the center, hold there, three breaths. Two and one, nice. Bridge pose, step your feet down, lift the bum up for your bridge pose. Let's take figure four again, right ankle on top of the left thigh. Push the right knee downwards towards the floor. Little pulses here at the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, right foot down, left ankle on the right thigh. Flex the left foot, push the right knee down. Pulse here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice. Keep the figure four, drop the hips down to the floor, bring the body up. Okay, let's come back to the second side here. So your left ankle on top of the right thigh. You can place your palms down, so lean a little back. Just start to drop side to side. Okay, so start to loosen up the hips here. Feel the hip opening on the left side. One more time on each side, wherever you are. And come back to the center, okay? Now coming to your fingertips, walk your hands a little closer, maybe walking your right foot as well, closer. Keep the left foot flexed, push the chest forward and lift up. Sit up taller. Breathe, five, four, three, two, 
and one okay take a twist from here if you need to walk your right foot just a little away start to bring your left hand twist to the right side okay bring your left arm as much as you can to hook outside of the left foot right hand still behind to support so if you're crunching like this try your best use the fingertips push a bit more so use the left hand press against the left foot and then twist twist from your waist breathe here five breaths four for those who can maybe you can use your hands to catch on to your left right shin three two one more breath inhale and as you exhale gently releasing coming back to center walk your right foot inside stack your shins on top of one another ankle and knees are stacked in your double pigeon when you're ready walk your hands forward just melt the chest down forehead down keep flexing your both feet five breaths four three two and one good roll yourself back up okay maybe you can shift back a bit coming to figure four so lift the bum knees down onto the floor keep your left ankle just right in front of the knee then turn your right toes up palms below your shoulders inhale let's arch the spine exhale curling in chin to the chest inhale arch the back Exhale, push the floor, round your spine. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale to round. One more, inhale. And exhale, really tucking the tailbone under. Inhale, back to a neutral spine. Back toes tuck, lift to a figure four, downward facing dog. Push the chest back. If it's really difficult to ground the right heel, it's okay. Keep your right knee slightly soft. Uh, push, push, push. The palms are strong. Pressing down firmly. On your next inhale, everyone, let's lift the right heel off. And then bend your right knee. Keep pushing the left knee backwards away from the body. Chest to your shin. And then straighten the right leg. Ground the right heel down. Lift the heel as you inhale. Bend your right knee. Bring the chest a little closer to touch the left shin. And then drop the right heel back down, straighten the legs. One more, lift the right heel, bend the knee. Push, bring your chest to touch your shin, lift the bum up high. Three, two, and one. Nice. Straighten the right leg back to a downward dog. This time inhale, lift the heel, roll forward to a plank pose. Stay in your figure four legs. Exhale, push back to a downward dog. Inhale, roll forward to a plank pose. If not, take a regular vinyasa. If you can, exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, glide forward. And exhale, back to a figure four, downward facing dog. And cross the legs. Open up the hips, bend the knee on top, scorpion tail. Squeeze the hamstring, square the left shoulder down, inhale. Exhale, pigeon pose, lizard pose, sorry. Step the left foot outside of the left palm, sink the hips down, chest forward. Inhale, back to your scorpion tail, bend the knee, open up your hips. And exhale, step the left foot outside of the left palm. And right hand leg outside back to malasana squat palms beside palms at your chest elbows pushing your knees outwards this time maybe lifting the heels off good and then reach your arms up if you can if not reach it forward if you can reach up keep open your knees out to the side so use the strength of your inner thigh open the knees squeeze your glutes behind as well let's stand up slowly in five keep the heels up Four, three, two, and one. Tiptoe, stand up and slowly drop the heels down. Heel toe your feet together. Inhale, exhale forward, fold hinge from your heels. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, palms down. Step or hop back. 
One vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, gliding forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, sweep your right leg up. Bend the knee, open up your hips, scorpion tail. Exhale, right knee to the chest. Step forward, warrior one. Spin the back heel down. Keep the back, right knee bent. Reach your arms up, square the hips. Press the outer edge of the left foot down. Good. Straighten the right leg. Triangle pose. Lean forward. Bow the forehead down towards your right leg. One last breath. Inhale. Exhale. Revolve triangle. Place your left hand either inside or outside of your right foot. And then reach your right hand up. Take a nice twist. Keep your hips squared. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, revolve half moon, left hand placing in front, float the back leg off. Okay, keep your right hand up or hands to your hips if you like. If you think it's difficult to balance, if you like a little more challenge, hands to your heart. Good, five, balance that. Four, square the hips. Three, two, and one. Drop the left foot down behind, turn to a wide legged stance. So walk your hands to the left. I'm just turning around. Okay, once you walk there, let's bring your hands to your hips, come up. Right, goddess pose. So turn the toes outwards, bend the knees, sit low. Okay, maybe start to reach your arms forward, grab the opposite elbow, sit low. Start to feel the squeeze at your bum. Inhale, exhale, stand up. Two more, inhale, sit low, squeeze, exhale up. One more inhale, sit low, squeeze, and exhale, sit up. Okay, from here, find a little balance, standing on the left leg, let's draw the right knee into your chest. Okay, so turn the hips, rotate the hips outside, so turn the knees outwards, right, right foot inwards, start to sit down. Okay, so imagine you want to do your figure four chair, but don't allow the ankle to touch your left thigh. Okay, hold it there, keep turning, externally rotating the hips, sit lower, three, two, and one. Back to the center, knee to the chest, back to goddess squat, step down, squat. Stand up onto your right leg this time, draw the left knee to the chest. Same idea, turn and externally rotate your left hips, flex the left foot, start to squat a little lower, left ankle just hovering above your right thigh. Keep opening the hips, three, two, and one. Nice, stand up, left knee to the chest. One more time, goddess squat. Stand up on the left leg, draw the right knee to the chest. This time, you can set your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Release your hands up to the front. Good, find your balance. Squat a little lower, squat lower. Bring the chest a little more towards your front shin. Keep pushing the right knee downwards. Arms forward if you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale here. Okay, maybe lifting the chest up a little bit more. Exhale, cactus your arms out to the side. Squeeze the shoulder blades behind. Chest up. Inhale, arms forward, stretch. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus. Stay strong on that left leg. One more. Inhale. And exhale, cactus. Hold that. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Drop your palms down to the floor. Just turn your left toes, ten left toes to left foot to face to the back of your mat. Taking a figure four forward, four bow all the way down to stretch. If it's too much, just take a regular forward four. Release the right leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms grounded down. Step the left foot all the way to the back to a figure four plank. Then we're taking a side plank from here, okay? So right hand down to the floor, reach your left hand up to the sky, still in your figure four legs. Pressing down into your right hand. Good, switching side now, left hand down, spin to the outer edge of your left foot, reach your right hand up to the sky. Okay, then slowly release, kick the right leg up as high as you can. 
and then dropping to a wild thing, step your right foot behind, lift the hips up. Maybe placing your right hand onto your chest here. Three, two, and one. Slowly turn yourself, flip back to a three-point plank. So turn your chest to face down, still keeping your right hand to the chest. So you're balancing just on the left palm. Push, three, two, and one. Drop the knees down to the floor. Taking a half camel here, circle your left hand to reach the left heel behind. Either toes tuck or untuck your choice. Push the hips forward, chest up. Breathe, three, two, and one. Nice. Release everything. Hands up to the sky. Palms down to the floor. Take a little cat pose round the back. Inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, drop the chest and chin down. Inhale, glide forward. Upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So you're facing at the back of your mat now. Let's do everything facing to the back. On the left side, inhale, left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hips, scorpion tip. Exhale, left knee to the chest, step forward, warrior one, spin your back heel down, reach your arms up. Press the outer edge of your right foot, hug the ribs, stomach in. Good, straighten the left leg, triangle pose, hinge forward, bow down over the left leg. Square the hips, so keep pulling the left hip back. Then we take your revolve, triangle pose, right hand you can choose to place it outside or inside of the left foot. Turn the chest towards the left. Open up, left hand up, three, two, and one. Let's go for revolve, half moon, right hand forward, float your right leg up. Okay, maybe stay there, maybe playing with balance, right hand to the chest. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Drop the right foot down behind, come into a wide-legged stance. Let me switch back. <laughs> okay, hands to your hips again, bring the body up. Got the squat, squat down, toes, toes pointing outwards, heels in. Let's grab opposite elbows at the front. Okay, from here, stand onto your right leg, draw the left knee into the chest. One more time, externally rotate the left hips. Okay, then start to sit low, hovering your left ankle just on top of the right thigh. Good, stand up, got the squat. Squat all the way down if you can, then come up this time, right knee into your chest. External rotate the hips, squat down, right ankle do not touch. Sit low, sit low. Three, two, open the hips small, and one, stand up, knee to the chest. One time, big goddess squat, and one more time, left knee to the chest. Okay, this time you can rest your left ankle, this time onto the right thigh. Reach your arms forward, start to bring the chest towards the left shin. Flex the left foot, send the bum back. Good, start to feel a little stretch here first on the left foot. Then slowly just bring your body up slightly, inhale. Exhale, cactus your arms, squeeze behind. Inhale, arms stretch forward. Exhale, squeeze. One more, inhale, stretch your arms forward. Exhale, squeeze, hold, three, two, and one. Nice, release the fingertips down to the floor. Turn your ten right toes to face the back of the mat for your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms down. Either small little steps back or one big step back to a figure four plank. Then you're taking a side plank, spin to the inner edge of right foot behind, left hand stays down, right hand up. Hold that, three, two, and one. Switch, right hand down, swivel to the other side, left hand up to the sky. Okay, then release the left leg, kick the left leg up, bend the left knee, drop it behind for your wild thing, flip back, chest up, hips up. Place the left hand onto your chest this time. Three, two, and one. Slowly 
flip yourself back to a three point plank come up to your toes keep your left hand to your chest five four three two and with control drop the knees down to the floor release the right hand circle around the back for your half camel pose hips forward squeeze your glutes behind one more breath inhale and exhale release both hands up to the sky palms down take a quick cat pose round your back inhale arch the spine exhale chest and chin down bend your elbows inhale glide forward exhale downward facing dog good let's take one deep breath here inhale one full breath exhale Good. From here, just drop your knees down, sit back onto your heels. Okay, we're going to try our grasshopper pose. So I'm just going to teach you how to enter a grasshopper. Later, we just insert it into a flow. So if you need a block, sorry, I didn't mention earlier, just quickly grab a block. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to come from, can come into... An entry to grasshopper can be from two different ways. One is from a seated position, one is from your figure four chair, okay? So if you're sitting down, maybe you like to sit on the block, okay? This will give you a little more leverage. Same like what we did earlier, right ankle onto, let's say we place your sorry, left ankle onto your right thigh. Then we get a nice twist. So bring your left hand outside, hook it outside of your left foot as much as you can. Get a nice deep twist first. Then twist to your right. Try to keep your spine as straight as you can. So if you're sitting on the block, it's easier because now we need to place your palms down. Okay, so once you make a nice deep hook here, as much as you can, the closer it is to the armpit, it's easier. Then drop your hands down in front. Okay, keep the foot onto, you're going to press the left foot into your arms. Okay, slowly lift the bum up from the block, bend your elbows, lean forward. Like a chaturanga arms, keep the left foot stepped onto your left arm, slowly release the leg, kick out to the side. Okay, so this is one way you can enter with the block sitting down. You can sit down without the block if it allows you to lift the bum up. Another way is from a figure four chair. So what we did earlier, okay, you're going to twist and try to bring the left foot again, left uh, arm outside of the left foot. Okay, from here, bring your palms down to the side. Start to lean forward, bend the elbow, same thing. Try to float the leg out, kick it to the side. Okay, so this is probably a little harder for some because you still need to work on the balance when you are standing up. Instead of sitting down, you just probably need to focus more on the twist. Okay, so if you need to, let's just keep the block aside. Okay, we're going to try to insert the floor that we done earlier. Okay, so coming to a downward dog. Let's reach your right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip, scorpion tear. Exhale, bring your right knee to the chest, step forward, warrior one, spin the back heel down, reach your arms up. So immediately try to engage, suck the tummy in, press the outer edge of left foot down. Then straighten your right leg, let's go for immediately for revolve triangle, left hand down, right hand up, take your twist. Good, revolve half moon, left hand forward, float the back leg off, maybe palms to your heart, maybe down. Let's add five curtsy squat, bend the left knee, touch the back of your right calf and straighten back. Five, exhale, bend and four, bend to touch and straighten three, bend to touch, straighten two, last one, bend to touch, hold it there, five, four, Three, two, and one. Straighten back, step the left foot behind. Hands down, walk your hands to the left side, coming to a wide-legged stance. Hands onto your hips, bring the body up. Squat again, so toes outwards, heels in, squat it down. Then you hold opposite elbows in front. Okay, stand onto the left leg, draw the right knee into the chest. Now we take a figure four here. So rest the right ankle on the left thigh. Sit back, sit back, reach your arms forward. Okay, take a breath, inhale. Exhale, twist your body to the left side. Twist, try to keep your arms parallel to the front first. Hold there with the balance. Three, two, 
and one. Now we try to bring your palms to your heart center and then twist, hooking the right elbow or right arm outside of your right foot. Okay, you can continue to stay here or you open your arms or go for grasshopper. So maybe you can turn, okay, your palms to face the short edge of the mat. Okay, just keep your arms hooked. Step, right foot steps onto your right hand. Bend your elbow, lean forward. Kick your left leg out to the side. Five. Wherever you are, hold. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend your left knee. Step it down. Keep that figure four leg. Let's go back to a figure four forward four. Facing to the back of your mat. Breathe. Good. Halfway lift to inhale. Exhale, grounding the palms. Step or hop back to a figure four plank. Let's take a side plank onto your right hand. Left hand up to the sky. Good. Switch sides. Left palm down. Spin to the other side. Reach your right hand up to the sky. And then we release the right leg, kicking up. Drop it behind to a wild thing. Place your right hand onto the chest. Inhale. Exhale, flip yourself back to a three-point plank position. Maybe this time, if you like to try, you can float the left leg off. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Drop it down. Slowly with control, drop both knees down to the floor. Release your hands. Reach both hands back for a full camel pose. Right. Keep your toes tucked or untucked your choice. You can go deeper. You keep it untucked. If not, tuck the toes like this. Three, two, and one. Nice. Release. Both hands up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Take a quick cat pose. Round your back. Inhale. Arch the spine. Exhale. Drop the chest and chin down. Inhale. Glide forward. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Facing to the back of your mat. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Scorpion tail. Exhale, step forward in between your hands. Warrior one. Breathe, catch your breath. Straighten the legs. Inhale, exhale, revolve triangle. Right hand down, left hand up. Twist, twist, twist. Square your hips. Revolve half moon. Right hand forward. Float the back leg off. Right, maybe fingertips down, maybe hands to your heart. Five, curtsy squat. Bend your right knee to touch at the back of the left calf and straighten. Five, good. Bend and extend. Four, bend, extend. Three, bend and extend. Two, last one. Bend, hold it there. Five, four, lower if you can. Three, Two, and one. Step, extend. Step the right foot behind. Then you walk your hands to the long edge of the mat. Hands onto your hips. Bring the body up. Squat it down. Grab your opposite elbows in front. Stand up onto your right leg. Left knee to the chest. Left ankle on top. Figure four. Sit down. And slowly release your hands. Well done. Inhale. Exhale, now you twist the body to the right side, to your right. Twist as much as you can. Keep your arms parallel first. Five. Sit lower. Four. Twist more. Three. Two. And one. Palms to your heart. Now you try to hook. Left hand outside. Get a really, really nice hook here. Push into your palms, twist. You can stay here, option one. Option two, just open up your arms. Option three, grasshopper, okay? Keep the left foot, press your left foot towards down into your left hand. Bend your elbows, lean forward. Find lightness on your right leg. Kick the right leg out to the side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Step your right foot back down. Keep the left ankle onto your right thigh, forward fold at the back of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Breathe. Exhale, ground the palms. Step or hop back to a plank pose. Now spin to the left hand on the down, right hand up for a side plank. Switch sides, right hand down. Left hand up to the sky. 
and then release to kick the left leg up, inhale, exhale, bend the left knee, flip your dog, chest up, left hand to your chest, three, two, and one. Flip yourself back to a plank pose, okay, keep your left hand to the chest, this time maybe try to float your right leg up, five, four, three, two, and one, well done, drop the right toes down, slowly knees down to the floor, release and take a full camel pose. Okay, if it's too much, it's okay. Just bring your hands onto your hips. Tuck the chin to the chest. Last three, two, and one. Release, hands up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, palms down, round the back. Inhale, arch spine. Exhale, chest and chin down. Inhale, glide forward. Exhale, downward down. Drop your knees down to the floor, sit back onto your heels, or take a seat. Alright, well done everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned something. We did a lot of twisting and hip opening to prepare for grasshopper pose, okay? So you can always enter from two ways. You like to enter from chair, or if you enter the floor, place a block is easier because if not, you twist like this. You lean forward, it's very hard to lift the bum up, okay? So try both ways, see what way works for you, all right? If you have any questions or feedback, all right, or any postures, um, any tutorials you need, please let me know. If not, take time to cool down if you need, or just continue with your practice. If your hips and your twists, you're already more warmed up now, okay? Hope to see you soon again on the next video. Thank you again for joining me. See you soon. Namaste.